Can't get to below the door, so there's that. <laughs> I can have five scan enemies, or I can figure it out myself, which is more fun. <laughs> Using your brain is often considered a fun process. Because <laughs> it makes you feel good. Green Goblin, you're just as strong as the ones outside. You take three hits. <laughs> oh, no, no, never mind, you're actually taking a little bit more. You take four hits. Balance swap equals, equals stronger monster. Apparently in a recent interview, the the Zelda guy said, I guess we may fly a little too helpful, sorry. <laughs> you don't say. That's kind of funny. Fai's trying to give me more advice. She's trying to give me more freaking advice. The Wiimote makes noise when she's trying to talk to you, I think. It sounds a little bit like a ringtone. Yeah, let's just have a drink from our potion. There, I sprinkled a potion on my shield and it was healed. Can you use the Check to see if this slingshot does anything in this situation. Not really. I mean, I could do something really acrobatic, like, um, say... I'm not sure if that actually did anything, but if it did, it'd be awesome. <laughs> hey, you got a slingshot? Yeah, I got a slingshot from the kick we out there. Can I do the Guess you're not cool enough for a bow yet. <laughs> This spider sure is a puzzle. God, she even tells me how many of them I have defeated. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. I see what I'm supposed to do. It's a slingshot vine over to the side. The slingshot makes the Wiimote make noise also. I'm not too surprised by that. I think you could probably turn that off if you wanted to. That's okay. It's more interesting for people I other guess, than myself. <laughs> I guess. It lets me know when you're doing things. <laughs> so you can see how big the delay is. Yeah. You know, maybe I should feel bad for stabbing the spider in the gut, but on the other hand, nah. <laughs> People have been trying to point out a lot of things, but I generally just do it on my own anyways. That's how these streams tend to go. People attempt a backseat game and I do the whole not listening thing. <laughs> yeah. It's still annoying that they do it, though. <laughs> It's like, you know, I'll do it on my own. Figuring out games is part of the fun. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I Only ask... give advice when Pink explicitly asks for advice. And I do ask now every now and then, so there's that. <laughs> yeah. I'm good about asking when I actually want help. <laughs> Instead of, like, vaguely hinting at that I can probably use it. I can't give you any actual help, I can only speculate as to what you might have to do. That's okay, speculation is actually kind of good. Yeah. Speculation is fun and interactive! I'm sure Kit would be able to direct more directly. If he, well, I don't know, he'd have to remember the game. I can safely say to him that Fi is the most annoying thing I've dealt with in a while in a video game. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty obnoxious and I'm just watching. I don't think I would want to play this game. It's just a real problem of she has something to say about everything! You can't just talk with an NPC, because you'll talk with an NPC and then Fi will say what she thinks about that NPC, or reiterate what she just said. 
It is kind of funny that the NPCs react to her springing up, though. A little bit. Yes, at least she's actually existent. <laughs> No, you guys didn't hunt as bad as Pi because I can at least choose to ignore you. She freezes gameplay. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> she freezes gameplay. Very important difference. Oh, there's my map. <laughs> I got a hint about the map before actually acquiring the map. <laughs> <laughs> Is Phi gonna explain how maps work to you now? Yep. Master, I have information for you. You have obtained a map of this area. You can use to the look, To read a map, look at a map. The position of doors and their locks, as well as the position of status and, of, and status of treasure chests, can be confirmed on the map with marks such as a red X. However, be aware that you will be unable to use beacons here due to the indoor nature of this environment. That's really <sighs> arbitrary. <laughs> what can't you do because you're indoors? I can't use beacons, which means I can't put a mark on my map. Oh, what? I, I can't use a function that is specifically designed just to put a mark on my map. I don't think <laughs> that logically follows. Like, there's no like, other purpose of it other than like, to put a mark. Like, why can't you put a beacon inside a place? Because it won't go up into the sky? So what? It'll still be a beacon of light. Unless they're not literally beacons, in which case I have no idea. Yeah, oh crap, we're raising the water levels. <laughs> oh boy. We're raising the water level, guys! I didn't have to play a song Master, to do it. Master, it appears that you just raised the water level by striking that switch. Thank god she didn't have anything to say about it. There is an 85% <laughs> chance probability that we will have to raise and lower the water level in order to navigate this temple dungeon building thing. I'm surprised she didn't say anything about it. Perhaps okay. she will later. We'll see. It would it would be very strange to me if she didn't talk about the dungeon water gimmick. All I know is I'm gonna stop after this dungeon because my patience is really running low thanks to Fly. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. I don't think I would want to play this game after having watched some of it, just because I would have to go through the intro and the Fi talking. She's, all, she's always there, watching. Look There's no way you can speed up her text, right? Nope. <laughs> there isn't even a text speed option in this game. Did you try pressing all the buttons? I did, I did try pressing all the buttons. Did you shake the Wii Remote angrily at the TV? No, I did not. It'd be funny if that did anything. Or if you could, like, at least screw around while there was conversation going on. <laughs> that would make it a lot better, probably. There's a lot of things that could have been done to make fun less of an annoyance, but they didn't do any of them. <laughs> like, that's the thing, the map is even now marking, like, things you should go look at. No, that's, that's fine and helpful. <laughs> It is pretty helpful, but at the same time, it means you automatically know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Or well, at least for the most part. It would be kind of funny if you could cancel Fi's speech before she even got to say anything, so she'd just pop out and then immediately go back in. Apparently you can speed it up a little bit by holding A. Yep, but not that much. That yeah, works. that's basically been what Zelda games do. That's nothing new, really. Yep. Okay, I see where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I just like to point out that there is no longer Zed targeting with the slingshot. You always have to aim. <laughs> That sounds like it could be annoying. Yeah, I'm, just... I'm gonna throw a guess out that, that there's going to be at least one boss that requires you to precisely aim a slingshot or bow at a weak point. Admittedly, it's not that much of a problem because the pointing has never been a bad aspect of the Wii mode. It's always been good at that. <laughs> uh, I guess. Hopefully, whatever target you have to aim at precisely will be large enough so that it's not a pain. 
Oh, oh, sag. It's another key door. Okay. Don't, 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 don't need your advice. So here's what the key doors do. Stare at the shiny pointy sword! The shiny pointy sword! Oh, isn't it shiny? Look how shiny it is! This door has two eyeballs. Wait, do I have to get them both looking at the same time? Maybe. Look at the shiny sword! Yes! Yes! This this World of Warcraft quest in Outland is called Outland Sucks! Because <laughs> there's a goblin who's mad about it. Yeah, I had to get both of them to stare at once. Excuse me, small keys do not ward the chest opening fanfare. <laughs> Unless it's like your first small key ever, which it probably isn't. It is in this case. Oh, it is? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the first time we've done an all game, so hopefully the rest of them are just in regular boxes now. <laughs> it's like there's a lot of aspects of the gameplay I'm having fun with, but I really need to shop. <laughs> It's like Metroid yeah. OM. I like when I actually get to play the game, but the story kept getting in the way. <laughs> it's like I actually really liked the gameplay as long as it didn't involve missiles in any fashion. The story did kind of ruin Samus a little bit, though. It did, but, you know, at least the gameplay was still badass and awesome. Yeah. At least it's hard to ruin Link. <laughs> yeah. They gave him, like, fish lips or something, but other than that, he's fine. <laughs> Like, how can you ruin Link's backstory or personality? You'd have to have one first. <laughs> it's a different Link every single game, so yeah, it's kind of impossible. Because <laughs> then the backstory and everything, it would be just that one Link. I like my idea that the Link in Mario Kart 8 is a separate Link also, and that he didn't actually do any world saving, he just, he just races. I can safely say the most unreliable motion control is stabbing, because the, the, the sensor's never been particularly really good at telling when you're getting closer to it. Yeah, that sounds like it would make sense. I mean, it's it's following my motions pretty well in terms of where the sword is pointed. It sometimes struggles with detecting whether or not I'm slashing down or up, though. <laughs> <laughs> if I go about it slowly, it actually works fairly well. It's not as jittery as without the Wii Motion Plus. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's what the Wii Motion Plus is for. It's fine. I guess it's uh, fine if, like, you can't do super fast. You have to be able to pace it a little bit more. It's definitely a pacing thing, yeah, because you have to really slow down to make sure it actually works. I would say something like that makes it more elegant, but I don't think that's the right word for this combat. Yeah, elegant is definitely not the right word. Because <laughs> you really just flail, and I tend to wear <laughs> at the moment. You know what would be funny? What's that? If to do the hold the sword up towards the sky thing to charge it, while you were in the sky, you had to hold it straight down. Instead. In a way, that would make sense. <laughs> yeah, I, I just thought of that. What if you're already in the sky? What is the sky of the sky? Space? It definitely has a really hard time with the Skyward Strike in general. Hmm. Like, it rounds you to hold that thing right the heck straight up. I can't really comment on the motion controls since I haven't experienced them, so... I must admit this actually does look pretty cool, though. Yeah, it's that is kinda neat. Using the Skyward Slash... productively. Now, if only the lock-on would actually work. <laughs> Depending on how this... like, it's just far enough away that I can't get a steady lock-on. Hmm. Oh, Jesus, now I have to deal with the balancing while attempting to fight. I think I'm gonna go. Okay, I will see you later, perhaps. Alrighty. I'm just gonna be, gonna be doing this for a while. <laughs> Let's see. And obviously, he wants me to go there, or even there. 
We don't have another small key, so we have to get to work on that. <laughs> right now, I'm using my like, PC monitor for playing this game. Unfortunately, it means my Wii motion sensor is way off to the side. Like, way off to the side. an awful lot of closed gates. It feels like I think we're supposed to get rid of all the enemies? I thought there's another freaking, you know, pixel hunt gem somewhere to shoot. Since that seems to be the theme of this dungeon. Top of these, but I can't knock them over. That's wrapped up in spider silk, which requires my sword to actually get at it. There's quite a few of those blocks, by the way. A somewhat puzzling predicament! It's down here, anyways. Ah! Stop trolling me. I could just shoot it. I mean, if I was fast enough, I could do it this way. Yeah, I don't have a key, so I can't really go this way. The point of it is, well, that was the bird statue. We've already checked out all the important spots everywhere else. I don't have a key for this door, I was just trying to kill all the enemies. Which obviously is not working. There it is! Frickin' I knew there'd be one around here somewhere. Dungeon is to shoot things that are way up high. <laughs> Figured it up before your post even came through. Well, blink, you're backseat gaming again. Oh no, not a dude with two swords. Attempts later, get a jab to actually come out. Hey! I see your tail for when you're about to attack. Let's see. 
Interesting. You have acquired a new item. Analysis of the objects in Zerk Line Profile and Wings <laughs> indicates it can fly. To the remote to remotely pilot the device, the sharp structure on the front of the device can serve threads and deliver a blow to smaller objects. To launch the device, press B to ready it for takeoff and then press A. Thanks, Vi. I didn't just get told that exact thing. I mean, you went into unnecessarily greater detail about it. <laughs> Right, it obviously wants me to actually use it. <laughs> Let's see, several threads? You mean like up there? No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's not very centered. What a weird little device. I mean, there's obviously probably something more it wants me to do here. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't mind hints and the like, but directly telling me what to do, that's where I draw the line and you get a timeout for it. Hints are one thing. Hints at least leave things vague and allow me to actually have some discovery. And thus fun. Blatantly telling me what to do is called being an ass. <laughs> oh, do I have to hit this thing again? Because I can, I can do that. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Nope. nope. <laughs> oh no! It's gonna blow! <laughs> uh oh. There we go. You know what? I'm just gonna start doing this for people that are blatantly telling me what to do. Ah. In fact, it's probably because Fi dug up my patience so much, but yeah, I'm definitely grouchier about that today. <laughs> I like the oddly ambient sound of the music to this place. Maxi driving is like particularly frustrating for me because I'm actually a pretty safe driver. So usually if people are backseating me it's more that I should go faster, oh my goodness. <laughs> go faster. I want to not get run over. <laughs> or have a crash or all the other stuff. <laughs> that was Sonic Glory. <laughs> you should pick up key items. It's very important. <laughs> Didn't I already pick this up already? Oh well. <laughs> Done! Nothing in there! This is a weird little device. Gonna get ya! Gonna get ya! <laughs> okay, there's obviously something in behind there. It's probably another switch. Go. And I have to know there's a key behind this door because the map the map is also my compass. <laughs> hmm. It's a point of interest behind me. Yes, there is. Although I don't think I can jump up there just yet. Huh? 
Is it mini boss time? Oh, it's definitely mini boss time. Let's go. Spider. So we have to get you to flip over, huh? Okay, none of those tricks worked. Is my beetle gonna do something to you? Because if so, it's kind of funny. I definitely see a small ability to get at it here just in a second. Go for it. Go for it. There we go. Oh, that looks painful. Oh, there's three of you now, huh? Okay, you're gonna get into just the right position. Third eye! Pay attention! Well, I'll try it with two of them for now. Watch the spinning sword! Hmm. Probably something else I could do in the room to make it a little more doable. Charge the sword, like. Oh! <laughs> How convenient! It's a box! Good meal! Hmm. It's also a box here, so I might as well send the beetle after that, too. in case I need them. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's no point of doing this to the actual netting at the top. A box! Perfect! Exactly what I needed. <laughs> oh my god, it takes freaking... <laughs> Take stamina to push a box. Please, Link. Please, go do some track and field. This is what happens when you depend on a bird to get around. You don't learn how to actually have stamina. <laughs> have a look-see at this shiny sword. <laughs> To do the chest opening fanfare for every single small key. Oh god. <laughs> okay, there's something significant in this room that I can reach. Beetle, investigate! Yeah, it seems like the actual key numbers are small. This is actually a l very few keys for our first dungeon. <laughs> Good attack there, Link! Good attack! That's better, Link! <laughs> you stab that nothing! You stab that nothing. <laughs> Link, 
He's very good at his job. <laughs> You know, our basic wallet seems to be able to carry a heck of a lot of stuff. from yet. I can do this. I can do this. So there's just rupees in here. So I'll be sad. It's probably just rupees in here. Yes, it is. Oh, I see you. You're right there. <laughs> no one's gonna run out of juice. No. Oh. Get back up there and finish the job. <laughs> I saw the puzzle. Pieces of heart have gotten rather flat lately. <laughs> Fire, I know what a heart piece is. Just saying. Dude, this ought to be fun. Hey, Beetle! Sever their stems. <laughs> You've chosen the wrong Beetle to mess with. Oh, right, bouncing, bouncing. <laughs> well, this certainly looks odd. <laughs> Okay, that's not what you do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had to hit all three at once. There we go. You know, I thought I'd just poke it with the with the beetle just to see what happens. up there. Doesn't look to be anything else, though. <laughs> well, hello. Would you like to meet my friend, Mr. Cutter of Ropes? Yes, he would. Chubby. <laughs> Good job, little one. <laughs> Open the shortcuts. Dog. Oh, 
Hmm, well there's obviously the boss door. Take a look around and see what else I see in the meantime. That looks possible to reach now, at least. Long time fans there, name is Ironic. <laughs> Was it the box? <laughs> How many root pieces in this box? Twenty. <laughs> yeah. There's a heart there. They know that you're gonna mess up this jump. In fact, there appears to be one too few ropes down at the moment. this swinging for me? Um, not exactly. <laughs> hmm. Must be more to it. Because I definitely can't jump that far. Like there's a whole obstacle course to get around in this room. This is a matter of finding of where it starts. This looks like I can climb up the tree and go down there and around. Maybe I was supposed to do more on the other side. Okay, that is a while ago. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, those videos are kind of old. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, can't really do anything on this side, so I am supposed to just climb the tree from the other side. Got it! Just... Oh, we are at the ruby camp. Yeah, the ruby camp. Okay. There, I have no idea. I'm guessing the the Ivac. I'm just gonna call them moblins, okay? There's <laughs> gonna be some time missing around up here. What am I missing? I mean, this is something that I was able to cut before, in terms of having a sword, at least. Yeah, 
Yeah, this dungeon seems pretty good. It's nice and subtle. Whoa! I think that's how you don't jump. <laughs> now then. Since I saw that there was a vine here, obviously this is where we go. Jump! Okay, that didn't look like I actually got it, but we got it. <laughs> Wants me to go this way, perfect. No stop and then swing! Pac-Man no constancy it was also quite a while ago. <laughs> I've been posting videos for so many years, yo. And they have uh, definitely changed in terms of their overall quality and style, to say the least. <laughs> come a long way from when I just posted, like, commentary lists entirely, like, even without text videos. <laughs> Off of my old terrible caption cards. <laughs> I see you there, boss key. You shall be mine. Shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, we're a little too high up. A little too high up. Okay, boss key, let's do this. Okay, and we got a puzzle as a boss key. <laughs> Am I gonna have to solve a puzzle to get into the boss room? That's how you miss the rope, Link. That's how you miss the rope. <laughs> Get on that rope. Let's do it. Just getting my words backwards again. No big deal. Turn it around, like just around. There we go. Flip up, flip up. Motion controls, motion controls, please. It's just like this. There we go. <laughs> Insert. Motion controls, please. My wrist is not designed for this much twisting. <laughs> Bit of an interesting thought key mechanic. <laughs> it's a little silly. Oh, it's Gary Hun, hi. Dear God, sir, do you have to make some sort of stuck-up laughter noise every single time you open your mouth? <laughs> I, I say that here, Mirka. Can you, can you come into my sword instead of I? Please. <laughs> she drives me crazy. My full title, Lord, him, but I'm not fussy. <laughs> Do a little hair swish right here. Oh. Did you really just try your sword, foolish boy? <laughs> By all rights, the girl should have fallen into her hands already. 
She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away! Do you have any idea how may that made me feel inside? <laughs> Furious! Outraged! Sick with anger! This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed! Ugh. Still, it hardly seems fair being out of being of my position to take all my anger out on you. Which is why I promise up front not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life! <laughs> bad touch! Bad touch! Case the opposite. Be my sword. <laughs> Do I have my sword back? Way, way to go. Sword? Sword. Oh, there it is. I'm doing the complete opposite of what it looks like. The game has a hard time understanding when I want to quickly slash in the other direction. Yeah, that was a pretty bad telegraph. <laughs> I had it at first! Yeah, you have to move your arm really slowly to convince it to attack in the other direction. So this is kind of a bit of a problem. I'll throw a VLM, that sounds like fun. I got slapped in the, I got slapped in the face a couple of times for that. You know what? I have a fun idea. Let's try to shield bash him. It's very hard to hit the opposite direction. Let me put it this way. It like sometimes comes out, and the rest of the time it's motion controls. Motion controls! If I could do this with a button, I could come out fast enough to actually do it. It's like that was a horizontal swing that I just did with the remote, but it doesn't realize it. I'm trying to like bring it up here vertically, but then go for a horizontal. And when it works, it works, but most of the time, motion controls are heavily delayed. Yeah, he doesn't. Just saying if he cares about that, he doesn't. 
You gotta go really slow, which is awkward. Because these parts have hearts, thank you. Wait, I could probably shield bash the heavenly hell out of this guy. Yeah, the bunch of controls are way too delayed to do anything. That was a jab game! Please, just motion control the way I need you to. Now, don't do that! <laughs> Game, please! Get shield bashed! It seems like a hell of a lot easier of an idea than actually trying to fight. You need to do vertical there, because that doesn't actually make any sense. Wait, but I did both types of slashes and neither one worked. I really ought to just wait for the opportunities to shield bash. That seems like the easiest thing to do. Strange, strange person there. You certainly have a lot of health, sir. Yeah, I'm just not even gonna try. <laughs> That seems way too unreliable to actually bother with. I'll stick to the attack that actually makes sense. So good on the no death things. <laughs> the controls are unfortunately way too delayed for the amount of finesse they're trying to make you do in that battle. It's like, it would be cool, but unfortunately it's not a one-to-one -one motion, it's just looking for wrist movements. Like, if you want to do this and then do a horizontal swing. Yeah, it's working now, but in battle, I think that the Z targeting actually slows down. Because often I do this motion and then instead I would get a vertical slash instead, which doesn't do anything. Oh, you know, like sometimes I was trying to, but it gets. Because that's the thing, I don't want it to slash. I want to quickly bring my sword down and then attack upward or other things like that. Like being here and then one of. Like you have to do a super roundabout motion. You can't just flick across or you swing. Which is a big problem! And then there was when he was trying to block, and he was holding it vertically, and I attacked vertically, and that actually hits. 
it doesn't work right. This is unfortunate because it could have actually been a cool battle. Unfortunately, motion controls exist. You get six hearts in this game because most of your abuse is coming from the fact that you're dealing with motion controls. It's like, it could be so cool, but unfortunately it's the Wii's motion controls and they're bad. <laughs> but they tried to make you do too, something too precise with something that's just delayed. Very actually delayed from what you're actually trying to do. Fine, I don't need to... They're, they're giving me the option to talk to Fi a lot now, and that makes me happy that she's not necessary, but we'll probably end up talking to her now. No damage plates, you're never happening. I'm not doing no damage plates here of things with no with like any more than slightly annoying motion controls. <laughs> Good thing I remember this from earlier. Oh, here we go! <laughs> Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. From the edge of time I guide you, the cho one chosen to carry out the goddess's mission. I must do this while dancing! <laughs> the spirit maiden who descended the... <laughs> what are you doing with your feet? From the clouds must travel to the <laughs> places to purify her body. You can stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring. The other is known as the Earth Spring. The second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elven. The spirit may never <laughs> ever mindful of the heavy task adjusted to her has set out for this second sacred place. Uh, well, at least now we know where we got our attacks from. <laughs> I got another McGuffin. <laughs> Missy, no more talking. <laughs> what the fuck does this say? Master, as I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of the spring. I calculate a 97% chance that she has already set down her Elden where another great spring rests. Exists. However, it is not clear what method of travel Zelda used to move from here to her next destination. My, my analysis suggests you should take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft. Doing so will likely open a new column of light on the surface, allowing you to descend to another area and continue your search for Zelda. <laughs> the bird statue that transports you to the sky should be in the forest you previously passed through. So she jumped out of the sword, so she talked to me, so she could jump back into the sword, so she could jump back out again. <laughs> That's a saving quid right there. <laughs> That's her translation check. <laughs> okay, so analysis so far of the game. Most of the controls are a problem. <laughs> who's, who's surprised? Like, all they really do is slow down combat and they expect you to do a little bit too much for what their system's actually able to put out. Second thing, Fi needs to really shut the hell up. Other than that, the music's very nice. I do actually like some of the more original characters, you know? Like, you know, he's, he's... <laughs> Bad touch. <laughs> Freaking creepy as hell, but whatever. That one Goron was pretty awesome. Overall, the atmosphere's pretty nice. I like that first dungeon. It had some good puzzles. It had some bad puzzles, too. Like, the freaking switch hunts. So much switch hunts. Hopefully that doesn't become recurring. 
um, I'll be playing more of this next week. Should be a good time, hopefully. Either way, I'm kind of liking it. The, the motion controls are a thing, but we'll see what happens. This is one of those games that is, it's kind of stepping over the line of hilariously bad. I mean, there's so many aspects about it that are so, like, shockingly bad that it's just good laughable while actually having some good parts. Uh, overall, I can see the usual self that I'm hanging in there, so, you know, could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. Uh, I may stream again tomorrow as there's another game I actually wanted to stream in the first place that I didn't get to a little bit ago because Hyrule Warriors kind of sucked up all my time. Uh, we'll see about that, though. For now, though, this has been a fairly good stream. I'm still kind of happy with how things went. We got one dungeon done in all that time. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured Fi would start shutting up after a while, but that's for the first couple of hours there. Holy shit. <laughs> There's definitely worse Zelda games. There's definitely worse ones. I think I enjoyed Wind Waker HD better, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just remember, say no to bot goblins, just wave your hands back and forth, you will kill them eventually. Because <laughs> there's not really much... It's weird, because of how slow and sloppy the motion control battles really are, it makes it so there's not really any finesse to the battles when they try to have you have finesse, which doesn't really work. So, <laughs> we'll see if it gets any better. For now, though, I am at least pleasantly surprised that the most controls are not too terrible. <laughs> oh. I'll see everybody next time. That was a fun one, so... I think I'll go ahead and post this one up on YouTube just as soon as I'm done here, so we can start posting all this stuff. <laughs> An interesting first stream to have on YouTube, but, you know... <laughs> oh, dear. Where is it? Looking for it. It's gotta be in here somewhere. <laughs> Let there be explosions! Susan loads. <laughs>